Okay, so we were talking about phospholipids, and um, if you take phospholipids and you put them in a solution of water and you shake it up, the phospholipids will naturally form themselves into a um, into a sort of soap bubble with um, a bilayer of phospholipids and um, water on the outside and water on the inside. So this is the natural state of affairs for phospholipids to be in when they're in a solution of water. Um, it is again called the phospholipid um, bilayer membrane and it is just dictated by the very nature of the molecule itself having a polar end that fits itself into the lattice structure of water and a nonpolar end um, that uh, is hydrophobic. The nonpolar ends kind of get along with each other and protect each other from the water. The, um, the polar ends, uh, again, dissolve into the water. Okay. Now, if you don't shake it up and you just have water um, on, and, and with high, um, if you just have a surface of water here and you pour in some phospholipids, what you're going to get is the, phospho, uh, the phosphate, polar phosphate group um, dissolving into the water, fitting itself into the lattice structure of the water, and then the tail end sticking out of the water. So it'll kind of be floating on the surface. Okay, so there's two ways for um, for phospholipids to be in water. They can either coat the surface of water, or if they are shaken up and suspended in water, they tend to form these little bubbles. So the phos so the nonpolar ends are are never um, facing water because they are so strongly repelled by the by the polar water molecules.